How vast is the depth of racism in America? Perhaps one of the most brutal examples was the murderous bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama back in 1963. The Urban Street News team was in place for Spike Lee's screening of his HBO special entitled Four Little Girls. When my daughter Denise was uh, about six years old and I've always despised going shopping uh, with my wife uh, because my patience doesn't hold for go shopping, you know. But at any rate, this was Christmas and we were shopping and we had come to a store, in fact it was Cressus, going in there to buy some ribbons. And when we got into Cressus, uh, Denise said she had to go to the restroom. So we went downstairs where the restroom were, black and white again, uh, black and colored, I beg your pardon, white and colored. And uh, so when we got down there, the lunch counter was also in there, and you could smell the onions, the hamburgers, and Denise said she wanted a sandwich. And it was kind of painful to say, no, you can't have it. She wanted to know why. And we had to tell her the sage old story about whites only can eat here, but we can't. We'll eat when we get home. She didn't understand that so hard. That was the night that I made up my mind that I guess I had to tell her that she couldn't have that sandwich because she was black. I guess for men it's worse than it is for women because they are more sensitive, or I guess that's what you might call it. They hate to say, well, my child can't do what everybody else's child can do, and it makes me mad that I can't do anything about it. I can't change it right now. Well, I want you to know that night couldn't have been any more painful than seeing her laying up there with a the rock smashed in her head than to tell her that I couldn't buy her that sandwich down there because she was black. And I'm not sure she ever understood that. For those of us like myself who are involved in this generation of quote-unquote leadership and, and civil rights organizations uh, can look at this movie and see that even, even today uh, we face the same kind of trials and tribulations as those who watched people who thought they could get away with bombings, who thought they could get away with beatings and, and, and so many other kind of negative things to put a people down who were just trying to fight for their fair share at life. I dreamed the seemingly out of a clear blue sky that that was going to be something terrible happening at 16th Street and I saw a lot of blood and I mentioned it, it at the breakfast table it was on a Saturday morning and I said please I don't want any of you I said Ray I don't want you nowhere near 16th Street Baptist Church and Ray went, Mom, and they said, oh, Esther, don't tell that, 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 that children any superstitious stuff like that. And she said, no, God has shown me. I dreamed it last night. It was just blood coming all out of that church. It's blood just pouring out of the church. And I don't want any of my blood spilled. And we were all looking like, hmm. And then I guess since Ray didn't respond as we normally respond when Mama tells you to do something, because we didn't come from one of those families where people, your parents ask you to do something, they told you. And so he didn't respond right, and the next thing, she just fell on her knees. And I, and I started crying because it seemed so real to me in the dream. The bombing occurred on September 15, 1963, and took the lives of four innocent young girls who were attending Sunday school in the basement of their church. I think it's important because we tend to forget what people my, like myself and others went through, the marches that we were in, the reason that we marched. Um, my grandchildren need to know why we marched. A movie like this tells us why we were marching, what it was all about, and why it's important. It was just, it, it was awful. They, they, they told me, let me see. My husband told me first, yeah, because he got here first. And he was upset. He was uh, uh, the kind of gentleman. He was kind, nice. I, I guess he, he just didn't believe anybody would do anything like that. He died not realize that, that people do things like that. So on the side of just dealing with the whole race matter, we need to revisit this this kind of thing to see where we've come from. As I indicated, uh, most important to me is that our young people 
need to see exactly what, what the price was that we paid for them to have the benefits that they have. Our kids now are killing themselves in the streets. They're fighting without any sense of commitment to our struggle. They're li li literally lacking uh, any kind of real sense about what we did in that era. So I'm hopeful that, uh, that this, this documentary will be uh, advantageous for helping black young kids in particular in the ghettos, in the prisons, uh, all out there to see what we did to make this all possible for them. Well, that's our report. We'll see you next week on Urban Street.